Hi, I'm Julie. Um, today's um, five-minute room rescue, but we're going to start at the beginning with like a review. Okay, we have shine your sink at night. Take a, a favorite spray or something that you like. The one I've got in the bathroom right now is not one of my favorites. It actually, I have COPD and it's strong. So when you have COPD, it's not really something with smells and stuff gets to you and all. So certain chemicals we shouldn't use. And I think that's one of them. So on the third, I'll go back to the good stuff. Uh, something more gentle for me. Um, but anyway, you could use anything you want. Use anything you have in the house at this time. You know, just shine your sink and then at the end, buff it up with a towel and it makes it feel so good, look so good. And then try to clear the sink or clear the clear everything away so it feels even better as you're building it. Okay, the second one we know is dress to shoes. Whoops, I almost did it again. <laughs> dress to shoes, I got my shoes on. Okay. And the next one would be um, the sticky notes. We have all kinds of sticky notes flying around everywhere. Uh, this way. Okay. And then the fourth one is our morning routine and our evening routine. We're going to slowly build on that, but at the beginning we work on dress to shoes. And we work on, um, I even put my earrings on today. A little bit of mascara. <laughs> um, so... The morning routine is the dress to shoes, and the evening routine is, like, set up our clothes. Make sure our clothes are set up for the next day. Maybe our breakfast, our coffee, stuff like that. But you only want to start out with one or two at the beginning and then just build on. I think I said three before, but just it's whatever you can build on to. Don't, don't try to make a big, long list, have ten items. Then we just get frustrated and we can't do it. We just want to make routines. We don't, we want to make a habit of it. We want to build it more and more. If you don't feel like you're building habits and you want to start again, feel free to go back to the very beginning and start, you know, that's no problem. Start at day one and work your way back through. Okay. Um, day five is R&R. &R. Don't forget to sit back, set your timer for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just take a, take a break. Just breathe. Maybe, maybe look at a book. Maybe any, um, have a snack. Okay. Then the next part would be day six, and that's our hot spot. I got the old lady thing going down my nose. <laughs> um, the hot spot, you set your timer for two minutes, and you just do it the best you can. I think, actually, I think I can't quite see out of that one, so I better fix it. All right, a little better. All right. Uh, day seven is to set our clothes out for tomorrow. So we get in the routine of having our clothes out. Okay. And then day eight was building the control journal. So if you have your control journal. And then you put your morning routine. And then you put your evening routine. First it starts out with the dress to shoes. Uh, putting your clothes out. You can add one or two, but not too much because we just want to work on building the routine slowly. Okay, that way it becomes a habit. Okay, and before you know what you're going to be doing it and not realizing you were even doing it. I don't, sometimes I make my bed every morning. You wouldn't know it right now, <laughs> even though I did. But I've got lots of animals and I don't, I don't stop them from going on the bed and going crazy over there. That's, that's perfectly fine. They're my fur babies. I'm sure lots of you have fur babies. And if you have comments, keep them kind and nice. If you don't, you know, you're totally against it. But if you, you know, you can put comments down below, give me likes or dislikes. You know, I guess a dislike is your feelings, but positive is always much nicer. <laughs> okay. Um, so then, uh, then today we're going to do the five minute room rescue. Now, five minute room rescue is usually designed for the worst room in the house. And it's also um, 
maybe the front entrance or something. Something could you get an emergency thing, somebody's coming over, they're gonna go they're gonna go through your house. Well most likely they're gonna start with the entrance and stuff like that. But right now my worst room in the house tends to be my area that I do everything and I do my Bible life in, I do put my bills here, I do pretty much everything right in this spot. I used to I used to have an office, but I'm slowly going to give my daughter my office sanctuary and I moved my sanctuary over here and I put my office over here so um, I don't have that now so I well eventually I don't I'm still moving out of it I'm decluttering as I go and that's one of the reasons it looks so overloaded but it's gonna be it's gonna get decluttered and be all right one day at a time Okay, so we're going to start this area. Now I have a lot. I'm going to show you. We have a lot in this area. Way too much. But I mean, it's kind of it's kind of my life. <laughs> a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, so, for instance, let's go ahead and set the timer for five minutes. Okay. There we go. So if you want, work along with me. Be doing your room for five minutes. Have your timer set and just keep working along with me with all the different things. Don't just watch me. Go ahead and do it if you want to. I know we're learning, so we like to watch. I like to watch, too. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. So this one here I'm going to use for my dirty clothes. I tend to store my dirty clothes underneath my... My, uh... Oh, it's not coming to my brain. Stool. It's kind of like a a stool. It's got layers. I have my... has several different things on it. It has my health stuff, my beauty stuff, my, well, my hair stuff and all that good stuff. And I got down here, I've got a box that has my nail stuff. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. wouldn't believe what you find when you know. <laughs> I did not know those was there. I knew they were missing, but I didn't know where they were. Okay, we've got two minutes and 50 seconds, so we're still going pretty good. Find medicine. 
everything crawls underneath the spaces and gets in behind. Alarm clock. I was wondering where this guy went. I was looking everywhere for it. You'd be surprised what you can find. My lipstick. <laughs> And all of that's coming out of my dirty clothes section. Okay, medicine. This is what I usually keep my medicine in. It's a, like a doctor bag. It's really cute. So it keeps it keeps me pretty much on track. We got three seconds, two seconds, one second. Okay, so then we would stop. 